This is Imani David talking to you today about the Gerard Perigo World Time Financial Chronograph in Rose Gold, reference number 49805, the WWTC FTC. Wow, that's a lot of name for a lot of watch. Uh, for those of you who don't know the brand Gerard Perigo, well, they're largely credited with inventing the wristwatch in 1880. All right, there will be some people who say no, 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 but most people agree that they did invent the wristwatch in 1880. All right, so to keep things short, I'll jump right into it. This is the world time of the world time financial. First, let's talk about the world timer. So for those who may or may not know, for those who may not know, um, if you know, well, there's no need for me to talk about it. A world timer is a watch that you can tell the time in the various time zones around the world just by looking at the city rings, the city names that are written on the ring along the watch. Okay, so this is the city ring and you'll have various cities stamped there and you can see the time in that city. So right now, New York is at the top because I'm based in New York. And if you wanted to know the time in Paris, well, you just look at Paris and it would be about uh, 10 after 11 at night, right? Because the dark means night, the light means daytime, all right? So you need the 24 hour military time I call it ring because that's the ring that's going to tell you the time in other time zones and of course you need the city ring as I said okay um, this watch though is the financial so why do they call this the financial because in addition to having the city ring which all world timers as I just said must have this one tells you the opening and closing times of the various stock markets around the world, the four main stock markets. So that would be the New York Stock Exchange in New York, written here in red. That would be the uh, Hong Kong market. That would be Tokyo. Where is Tokyo? Uh, I don't have my... Okay, it was here in London and Tokyo. All right, it's here someplace. All right. Um, and so, yeah, here it is in blue, okay? So what happens is if you want to know, well, the market, the New York Stock Exchange opens at 9.30, I know, because I do some trading. So this here will be, this little red line from New York at 9.30, this red arrow will come around and point to New York, that little red mark at 9.30. And then if you follow the red line, this will be the closing time of the New York Stock Exchange. The red arrow will continue. And when it gets to Tokyo in blue here represented, it means the Tokyo Stock Exchange is opening up. And then of course here, Hong Kong, the red line begins here. Now it also will tell you what time the Tokyo Stock Exchange closes for lunch and what time they resume. And so this is how it goes. The, the city ring on the World Time Financial is dedicated towards giving you the opening and closing, the operating hours of the four stock exchanges, New York, Tokyo, London, and Hong Kong. Now, I may drop a picture here because a lot of folks get this a little mixed up, okay? And that is, they say, oh, all the 49805s are the same, but they're not, all right? If you look at just a regular 49805 World Timer by Gerard Perigo, you'll find that the city ring is different. Here, New York is on the inside of the ring. On the standard uh, 49805s, or the non-financial models, New York is on the outer edge. So all these cities here are on the outer edge and Basically, it's just reverse. These cities are down here. These cities are up there. Well, why is that? The financial needs, of course, to have um, to be very accurate. All right. So at 930. So basically, if you're just looking at a regular world timer, 
you know, you're not going to get too precise, right? You know, well, it's 8, it's, you know, 8.02, it's 8.05. But with the World Time Financial, the city ring also has to be calibrated so that it is perfectly aligned with the minutes. When this red arrow gets to that red arrow, it has to be 9.30. Otherwise, the market isn't open. So what, th what that means for this uh, model is that the financials, the city ring has to be manufactured separately from all the other city rings for the non-financial uh, models. And that, of course, increases its cost. And that, of course, increases its rarity. And this is one of the reasons why the financial is so sought after, um, because it is, of course, rare. Even more rare in rose gold. You'll find some out there um, in uh, stainless steel and all of that, but the rose gold ones with the chronograph are just incredibly hard to find. All right, so of course, chronograph functions, you guys know, start the chronograph with this, stop the chronograph with that. I'm not going to get into all that uh, because they, it pretty much operates the same. This, uh, this crown. I'm sorry, here, you would adjust the city ring. So you unscrew this, turn it to adjust the city ring. I won't do that to show you guys because, as I say, I do I do trade. And right now, this watch is set up very accurately, and I don't want to even touch it because it will mess everything up. All right, there's a date window in here, okay? And the chronograph second hands. The running second hands is going to be in this subdial, and of course the hours for the chronograph here. All right, I'll show you the back to the watch. It is really impressive, very beautifully done. All right, let's see. Can, can we get this? It's always tricky with the deployment buckles to get it to open up so you can see the movement of the watch. But let's try nonetheless. Okay, can we do it? Now, the second question is, will it focus? So, a gold rotor, of course, signed Gerard Perigo. Okay, it's an automatic watch, this piece. And it's, uh, I don't know what else to say about it, really. It's, um, I guess I'll give you some technical details right now. It's an automatic. It's um, the movement is the Gerard Perigo 3387. Uh, it has 63 joules inside and it beats at a frequency of 28,800 vibrations per hour. Uh, the case diameter is uh, 43 by 53, so it's it's a good chunky watch made for a man's wrist. Um, you know, there are a lot of women traders and women in finance, so I'm not quite sure why there isn't a smaller model, but this is what it is. Sapphire glass, um, you know, silver dial, and of course it's on the Gerard Perigo uh, deployant strap and buckle. Okay, can I get that to focus. I don't know, I don't know. But, but if not, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, check this out, guys. It's, um, it is really a special watch. What I like about this mechanical watch, though, and I do wear this one a lot because of my work, and that is, no matter day or night, there's enough loom on the minute hands, the hour hands, and the indexes Okay, that in the dead of night, if I wake up at one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning for whatever the reason is, this is the only mechanical watch I have that I can read the time with no issue because the loom, it just glows and it's really bright and it is um, incredibly useful. It really is. And folks say, well, why do you need a chronograph function on a financial watch? Well. As a business person, I run a nonprofit. I also do a lot of uh, trading, and I meet a lot, meet with a lot of people every day. And I have a, quite a many, quite many phone calls. So let's take the phone call scenario for example. 
you know, when you're talking to business people, you, you may notice sometimes they look at their watches. It's not because they're being rude, but it's, you know, they're incredibly busy and they have to sort of portion out the time, okay? How much time am I giving you for this? I need to get this problem solved. First, hear what the problem is, get it solved, move on to the next problem, move on to the next phone call. I have another phone appointment waiting for me or I have to uh, get back to someone. So when someone calls me, um, so I know they're going to call, so it's always a phone appointment, right? You can't just call me on the fly, but I know there's a phone appointment. So let's say someone calls me at 1 o'clock. I start the chronograph. I push this button. Okay, let's do that now. And I will start this chronograph, chronograph running, okay? And I'm going to give, depending on the problem, depending on the individual, depending on how much of the problem I know ahead of time, I'm going to give at least 15 minutes into this phone call to get everything going. You know, you if you spend too little time dealing with a problem, that's not good. Too much time is also not good. You waste your time and the other person's time and time that could be spent solving the problem. So the phone call begins at one o'clock. I may give two or three or four minutes, again, depending on the issue, on having this individual tell me what the problem is. And then after three or four minutes, we can discuss what my understanding of the problem is and what my proposed solutions are and then have that person repeat that back to me. And so by the time 15 minutes rolls around, I know that it's time for me to start ending the conversation. So about three or four minutes, five minutes max on the chronograph, I know that it's time for me to start transitioning the conversation into solutions. And around 10 or 12 minutes, I need to start transitioning the conversation into recap summary so that at 15 minutes, I can get off the phone call. Then I can stop this chronograph, restart it, and take another call or whatever the case might be. So basically, it's just a mechanism for um, managing your time when you're a business person and you're dealing with uh, folks on the phone or whatever the situation might be. So this is why a financial chrono, this is why a financial watch, and believe me, there aren't many out there. I think this is the only one that I know of. This is why a watch that's a financial, that deals with finance and business would have a chronograph for reasons just like that. Okay, I feel as though I've talked a lot, but um, give me your comments guys uh, give me your suggestions the band of course is signed i'm not going to try to focus in on that the band is signed gerard perigo the clasp is signed gerard perigo and the movement as i say is a you know case back here um display case back um you know drop me your comments drop me your complaints i'm doing the best i can i will continue to do more of these videos if there's interest so far it doesn't seem as though there's a lot of interest so i may not continue but this is the draw perigo world time financial hope you like this guys um and uh yeah i suppose i will see you in the next video Okay, that's pretty good. All right, hey, I can stop this. And reset it. There you go. All right, bye guys, have a good day.